I'm joking. No, listen, guys, this is what people say. I went to everywhere. People say, Levi, don't call it reggae reggae sauce. It's too black, it's too Jamaican, and it's too Rasta. <laughs> when I said, hey, man, that's me, Jamaican, black, and Rasta. And I wanted the sauce to be about me. I don't think Peter Jones or those and the dragons invested in the sauce. And I don't, well, the millions of people that saw me and, and dragons then and ran me up the day after I came off the show. So believe I, we want your sauce, we want your drink, we want your suits, we want your underpants, everything. <laughs> they never really tried the sauce. It was the inspiration of the song and the guitar. It really was. So if you're thinking to be inspired, find something or somebody that you admire. <laughs> That's what inspiration is about. And you can twist it and call it a mentor. Get yourself a mentor. Don't try to do it on your own. That's what it's about. I mean, you remember me and Dragons, and I was really crap really in Dragons there. Because, <laughs> you know, you, you remember it. You know, I got the numbers wrong and everything like that. I wasn't writing any way, in any form. I was sweating like I am now on Dragons then. And the first three Dragons, there's Levi, I don't want nothing to do with your Reggie Reggie sauce. <laughs> they couldn't even pronounce it. But then, my inspiration says, yes, Levi, I will have some of that. And his name was Peter Jones. So I came up the stairs with the guitar just like this, thinking that, boy, I cannot never go back to Brixton where I come from, because where I come from in Brixton, if you ever go out and make the dragons them slay, you better stay the fuck out there. <laughs> Don't come back. Right? So I knew that I had to slay these dragons with the sound. 